up guys, it's Josh and we're back again with another video. For those of you that are new here, my name is Josh Beasley and I'm currently a senior at Yale studying computer science. This is my channel where I post about my life in college, college application tips, CS stuff, magic, if any of that sounds interesting, hit the subscribe button down below. And before we even get started, please drop a big like. It helps me and supports the channel a lot more than you think. And now let's get into the video. All right guys, today is my last first day of school. And that's technically not correct. Yesterday was the first day, but I didn't have any classes yesterday on Monday. So today is February 2nd, and this is the day that I start my last semester of my senior year at Yale. So I wanted to take you guys along for a day in my life of online classes at Yale as I'm trying to figure out what I want to take, shopping a bunch of different classes, and hopefully deciding on my final schedule. So today I have three classes lined up that I'm shopping, the first of which I already know I'm taking, which is my Air Force ROTC class because I am a Air Force ROTC cadet here at Yale. Um, and that's why I had to get up so early. It is 6.45 right now. My first class starts at 7.30. Um, it's called Leadership and Communication 2, which is the very last class I have to take before I commission into the Air Force this May. Um, my other two classes is the only CS class I'm taking this semester, which is Deep Learning, uh, Theory and Applications, which is something that I've been interested in. It relates a lot to my thesis. I'm not sure if I'm gonna take it yet, but I'm excited to shop that. And then my last class for the day, which starts at 1 p.m. is Life Worth Living, which is a humanities seminar, which is a great class that I can kind of reflect on my Yale experience and what I'm going to be doing the rest of my life as we kind of contemplate the ideas of what makes a life worth living. So I've been saying this term shopping a lot, um, which I've talked about in other videos, and it's not a super common thing among schools, but basically Yale opens up, normally it's the first two weeks, but with online classes, it's only the first the first week. Um, but basically you can sign up for any classes you want, show up to any lectures you want, and have the whole first week to kind of explore, decide what you want to take, and then you don't lock in your schedule till a week into the semester. So I just answered some emails, kind of decided on my plan for the day, and it's 7.25, so let's log in my first class. All right, this is editing Josh, but I have a really important announcement to share with you guys. For any of you that are high schoolers looking to apply to college soon, I partnered with a really cool platform built by a friend of mine for this video that I can't wait to tell you about. It's called Vici Prep, and it's basically the platform that I wish I had when I was in high school. It allows any of you right now to log into the website, connect with a mentor at your dream college, and get personal, genuine, and free advice. Vici believes that everyone has a right to education, regardless of your background. If you're trying to navigate high school and extracurriculars, or you're just curious about what life is like at your dream college, you can literally go on to BG Prep right now, schedule a chat in 60 seconds, and ask a mentor anything. We know how much of a struggle it's been for high schoolers, especially with COVID-19, um, so we wanted to do everything we could to give back. I'm a mentor, so you can schedule a chat with me if you'd like, but there's also 80 other mentors from Yale, Harvard, Stanford, U Chicago, and more. All of us mentors are looking to give back, and we want to make sure that high schoolers that are trying to figure out information about college have everything they need available to them. Once again, it's completely free. It takes 60 seconds to schedule a chat. I'm gonna leave a link in the description. I really encourage you guys to check it out. All right, back to the video. All right, um, first class is done. Um, it was pretty much exactly what I expected. I've been taking these ROTC classes every single semester, um, so I know the cadre pretty well, knew what to expect. It was three hours though. It was from, or almost three hours, it was from 7.30 to 10.10, um, but luckily most of the day today was just introductions, going through the syllabus, and kind of setting expectations for the semester. One thing I did want to talk about, and if you live in the Northeast, you definitely feel me, was basically how much snow we got over the two days. I think New Haven got 16, 17 inches here. Let me go outside. I mean, look at this. You, you can't even see me, the lighting's not good, but it's absolutely insane. Um, so one thing I did want to do before the snow melts is I want to put the drone up and get some shots of Yale um, while it's all snowy because I've gotten some in the fall, I've gotten some in the spring, but I'm still waiting to get some snowy pics, so let's go do that now. My bed is a complete mess right now. All the sheets are in the laundry, so please forgive me. Um, but let's get this set up. Go back to Honestly, I'm open wide. I don't feel like waking up. All right, I think we're good to go. I still see a silhouette. Why don't we go back to? Why don't we go back to your bedroom? I 
I hope you guys enjoyed that. I took the drone down a little earlier than I would have liked because it was really getting tossed around by the wind up there. Um, but luckily I had just enough time before my next class, which is deep learning, to uh, cook up some eggs for breakfast, so it's good. smoothie I got my eggs I have two more classes today they're back to back and I'll check in when I'm done okay I just finished about three hours of class and overall it was really good um, the my first class the deep learning class was really interesting it was massive it was way more people were in the class than I thought there would be there were about a hundred people tuning into the zoom lecture um, and she really dives straight in to the content um, I'm pretty familiar with a lot of deep learning stuff but wanted to kind of get some exposure to all the different types of neural network architecture and stuff. But the one issue is I'm, I'm already done with most of my CS credits, or al almost all of them. I really just need my thesis. So it's right now it's kind of a debate of do I really want to take this class and have to put all in the time and work and like there's like six assignments, a final project and final exam and all this stuff um, during my last semester when I could be spending my time elsewhere. So right now I'm, I'm still considering taking it, but I might just end up auditing it where I can just show up to the lectures and learn the content without being forced to kind of do all the assignments. The second class life worth living after ta after showing up the first time I'm definitely going to take it. It was super interesting. Um, great section. I started off with a lot of interesting conversations. Um, it's pretty much the class seems like we're going to be reading a lot of different religious texts and kind of you know seeing what different cultures and different religions what they value in life what they think makes a life worth living and try to come up with our own answer to the question. With that, I'm probably going to start on some readings for the next couple days, and I also will probably put some time into working on my thesis proposal, so I'll check in later. All right, uh, I think I'm gonna call it a night now, but basically I uh, did some readings, had dinner, um, and then finished up my thesis proposal. It's about 10.30 now, um, but it was a good it was a good first day of school overall. I like my classes. I'm excited to experience the other ones that I'm shopping tomorrow and hopefully decide on a schedule soon that I can update you guys on. That was a day in the life on my last first day of school. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more day in the life videos like this in the future, drop a like down below. It helps me and supports the channel a lot more than you think. If you have any questions, comments, or you just want to say hi, drop them in the comment section down below. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet because we got a lot of good content coming soon. With that, see ya.